Welcome in all my friends. <clears throat> Lazy retired granny here. It is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. The time is 7.26 a.m. here in Salem, Oregon. And we've got a pink sunrise this morning that I'm looking at. Very pretty. And I am continuing my journey on Diamond Art Club's Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Penson. Here we go. And I am doing this bottom half here. And so I'm right, whoops. <laughs> get my pointer right right here by the tractor this part here so um, this is square drills the size is 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 95 by 70 centimeters there are 59 colors with four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills with a special effect coated on them. And they're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. Okay, so, let me get a little organized here. I, I'm having some challenges on this canvas and I switched out my diamond painting stylus to this that I got from Crafting with V. And I put on a new tip and I am using the purple wax from Dreamer Designs. Yeah, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I've got my coffee beside me with my coffee cup that says, I just want to drink coffee and pet my dog. And over here in the, underneath the candle lamp, once again, I got the French toast to going. And this I bought from Hobby Lobby when it was 40% off. And it smells delish. Mm-hmm. Okay, coffee time. Ah. So yeah, I got the breakfast blend coffee with hazelnut creamer in it. So, let me turn on my light. Okay. So, let's get to the canvas first and the issues I'm having. Alright, so I was using this, which is my favorite stylus pen to use. However, and then I was using nanograph tape. I tell ya, this can't, I don't know if it's the canvas or just what's going on, but the drills, I just couldn't lay them down right. So I've been doing some little experiments and first, I switched the pins out, put a new tip on, and I was still having difficulty with the nanograph tape. Now, I have never had an issue on a canvas before using that. Um, but I don't know if this is because this is an older canvas and the glue on it is different. I don't know. So, yeah, and the drills just were not laying correctly. So then I got out my Dreamer Designs Purple Wax, and that's what I'm using. Seems to be working fine. Now, the other issue I was having is the tray I was using. <clears throat> so I thought, you know, I can't start a Dreamer Design canvas right now as much as what I want to. I have to finish this one first. And I use the word have to. <laughs> so, um, 
So I got out the Dreamer Designs tray. I thought, you know what? I'm going to check this out. Now, I know it's a darker color. It's purple, which we all know that when you have dark colored drills, it's a little bit of a challenge. But um, with my lighting that I repositioned and whatnot, it's okay. It's fine. So then... I decided with the dreamer kits you get this to put here so you can divide two different drills and because I keep missing drills I thought ah perfect I'll just stick that in and then the drills that I miss I can put on the other side all right now the second thing or the next thing I'm not really the second is this spout and I thought I was going to have issues opening this spout and pouring the drills out. It's working perfect. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. However, because I do have several of these, what I may do, and I'm not for sure yet, I may try to take this off and see how that works, just as an experiment. All right, so I think I am on the road to recovery with that. So a lot of things going on <clears throat> with the canvas. So but I like how it's popping out. As you can see, there's a lot of spacing issues. <laughs> and, but... When you turn it off, you really can't see that. So, um, and this isn't spacing here, that sparkle. So, anyway, so that is what I'm saying today. So, we're going to be doing the T's. And let me find the capital T. which is 38 and 38 is 934 so let's see what color that is black avocado green all right Gotta put some hand lotion on. I was scrubbing some stuff. My fingernails are dirty. Sorry about that. Yeah, the things I do early in the morning. I, I, I need to put hand lotion on. You know, I guess it would help if I wore gloves when I'm doing some heavy duty cleaning. But I don't. And I do have gloves that I could wear. But. Okay. So, alright, we got that situated. <clears throat> so, do I have a lot of teas? Not too much. Now my hands are all slick. Ah, copy. Alrighty then. Let us get started on this journey of the keys. And this isn't too bad with my light for this, so I'm not going to complain about that. And the drills are laying down better for me. 
I just had to find that sweet spot. Now, as long as I was digging into the Dreamer bag of accessories, I also got out this, which is their stylus pin for picking up a B. So I'm going to be checking it out eventually. I don't think I have any more a B's here because we already did those. And you probably noticed I have not done a lot on diamond painting. Yeah, yesterday was rather busy for me, so. Okay, so what did I do yesterday? So yesterday, well, let me start at the beginning. On Facebook Marketplace, I listed my accessories for diamond painting you know all these bags and trays and the peak pins without the um, tips and so I listed those and I had quite a few people message me But, you know, they message you, and then they never get back to you. <clears throat> well, I had, um, then I had a guy yesterday morning that sent me a message, and he works in West Salem. And he said he could come by during his break, at work and but I was gonna be gone you know to the doctor and so I said well where do you work at and maybe I can just drop them off to you and he told me where he worked which was right on my way to the doctor's office and I said well how about if I stop by about nine and give them to you and he said that worked out just perfect for him. So I left a few minutes early and when I got there, I messaged him and uh, he came out and he said his wife diamond paints and, um, but, now, I don't know if she works there or what, but he said there is a nursing home type of thing that he was, they were going to be donating this stuff to for their arts and crafts. And apparently that residents there also do he said diamond dots so then I afterwards I thought oh well those peak pins aren't really going to help him because I took the tips off so I am going to message him and get a little bit more information he said it was his wife that was involved in this and he really didn't have time to talk to me because um, he was working so yeah I got to send him a message and get a little bit more information so because I do have a whole box full of those pink pins that still have the tips on them So I'm not really for sure. So hopefully he can have his wife get hold of me. And I'll get a little bit more information. So anyway, I did that. And then I had another quick errand to run. And then I arrived at the doctor's office at 
it was probably about 9.30 and my appointment was at 10, but they said arrive 15 minutes early. So I was there in plenty of time and I got checked in and my doctor's office is a big clinic and over where my doctor was at, there was nobody. I was the only one sitting there. Anyway, they had some paperwork that I needed to fill out and I got my name and my date of birth on it and they called me back. And I said to the nurse, wow, that was fast. I said, I didn't even get to get the paperwork done. And uh, so she took me back and she weighed me and all that good stuff. And um, then she asked me a few questions and then she left and then I had to wait about 10 minutes and then the doctor came in. Now this is the first time I have seen this doctor. Even though he's been my doctor for, I don't know, three or four years. But I just don't go to the doctor. So he comes in and he said, Well, it's nice to finally meet you. You have not been in here for <laughs> quite a few years. I said, Yep. I just don't go to the doctor. And he said, oh, I can understand. And I said, you know, I don't just don't have nothing to complain about, really. And um, so <clears throat> um, he, they did my blood pressure and pulse. And he said that was fine. Everything was healthy. Listen to my heart. He said, yep, it's still a beating good. And he listened to my lungs, and he said, those are clear. And then he felt my ankles and my legs, and he says, yeah, no swelling. So that's good. And um, he checked my lymph nodes, and he said, nothing going on there, nothing in my ears going on. Whoops. And... Um, so then he's looked over my blood work and all, you know, my mammogram and he goes, I just can't find anything wrong with you. And, uh, so then we talked about diet and exercise, which I told him I was going to start walking and, you know, we just kind of talked about that and um, I told him what my plan of action was and he said that sounds good and uh, just you know a few things that um, you know they have to know and He asked me what I did, you know, did I have any hobbies, you know, what did I do? Now, I did not discuss to, with him that I don't leave the house a lot. I didn't even think about it. I mean, it's so natural for me, I just forgot about it. I don't know if he really wanted to know. But anyway, I told him, you know, I diamond paint, I knit, and... Um, the YouTube channel, and he laughed, and uh, we just had a good conversation, you know. I, I said, you know, I just have nothing really to gripe about, and um, we talked about me starting to walk and all that, and, you know, just general conversation. So... Um, and then I told him that I had my colonoscopy. It was next month. And, uh, all that. My blood pressure was fine. Um, my pulse was fine. 
I am not obese, but I am overweight. Um, so I told him what my plan of action was there. And he said that was fine. And he said, you know, I really don't need to see you back for a year, you know, unless you have, you know, some issues. And so as he was going out the door, I said, okay, see you in a year. And <laughs> so, yeah, I'm good to go. And also we talked about Ellie and he just got a lab puppy. And you know, Ellie is part lab. And he said that his puppy is six months old and they go out running together. So I was excited, you know, about him having a lab puppy and his lab he said you know he's not a chocolate lab but he's not a yellow lab and I think it was more on the color of Ellie and I should have showed him a picture of Ellie and I didn't I was a little nervous going in there um, just because you never know what they're gonna tell tell you um, so, and he said, I could have one of those bone density tests if I wanted. And I said, well, if it shows that I do have osteoporosis or whatever, I said, what are you going to do about it? And he said, well, we'll start you on calcium. And I said, well, what about if I just start taking calcium? <laughs> so we looked up my vitamins and what, um, you know, the, um, if I was getting enough calcium in my vitamins and D and blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, you know, you could take a little bit more. So um, I had to stop at the Walmart anyway and get some more multivitamins. So when I was there, I looked at, I talked to the pharmacy actually, or the pharmacist, I mean, and um, we were talking about calcium and I wasn't for sure which one to get because there was different ones so he explained it to me and if you get just the plain calcium you have to take that without food and if you get the calcium I forgot the word um, uh, you know, I'm really bad with all this stuff. Calcium citrate. Then you can take that with food. But, he said, it's best if you take that separate from the other vitamins. So, um, and then... A friend of mine said I should take vitamin K with it. So I sent a message to my doctor and asked for his recommendation if I should take a K. So, um, and I think they answered me. Let me just check. I think they did and I didn't. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Stop. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so let me just go in and see what they say because we're all curious to know if you need to take K with calcium. All right, um, I gotta look at my password because I forgot it. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. 
Let's see what they say. Move my coffee cup over so I can type. Whoops, backspace. There we go. Got my name right. And hopefully they don't send me a code. Please don't send me a code. Yay. Okay. I don't think they're going to. Oh, I think they are. Extra security requests. All right. Send it to my email because I can't do it on my phone. Okay. Now I got to get into my email. Oh boy. Yeah, so overall, you know, my visit went well. Um, I had a 30 minute visit and um, it actually was 30 minutes because we talked about a lot of different things. So, um, All positive, but all right. So, yeah, so when I then when I got done with the doctor, I went to Walmart and all right, now get this. So all I was buying was vitamins. So I got the, um, multivitamin and I got the calcium vitamins. That was it. Two things. All right, here's my verification code. Can I copy and paste? Copy. Enter code. Paste. Come on, you can do it. And so I was just going to do the self-checkout at Walmart. They were all closed. There was no self-checkouts. And it's like, are you kidding me? What is going on? All right, it's not gonna let me copy and paste, so that means I have to write it down because I will forget all these numbers. Okay, now let's see. Um, so I had to get in line and, and of course they don't have, you know, the 10 items or less line. They're all regular lines. So, uh, so when I got up there, I mean, I didn't have to wait that long, luckily, but I get, um, I get up there and I go, excuse me, but why aren't the self-checkout lines open? And okay, they haven't answered me yet. Um,
so she said that they had, with the self-checkout lines, they've been having a lot of theft going on. And so um, she said they are going to be redoing the self-checkout stuff. So I don't know what that means, but um, so yeah, it was Like, are you kidding me? So, um, anyway, who knows? I, it's like, uh, so anyway, then while I was in the parking lot, um, I was going to make my order to Subway to treat myself. And I used my code, you know, for buy one, get one free. Wouldn't take it. Wouldn't take it. Oh, I was getting so frustrated. And I hate doing stuff on my phone. It just always doesn't work for me. And to get that special, you had to do it on you had to do an online order. Okay, now let's see how this works. I want to show you. I should have moved those down and I didn't. There we go. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, that worked out really good. That um, this lip thing right here works pretty good. Works pretty good. And my drills want to stick. I'm doing this the wrong way. I usually have it in in this position. Sorry, you can't see, but okay. So see, that works pretty slick. I like it, but I still may do my experiment in taking this off and see how it works. All right, so let's do the dots, which I think are three tens. Yep, that's a sixes. We got a lot of them. So, I thought, you know, I really don't need Subway anyway, so I'm just going home. I was had already been gone for, well, by the time I got home, it would have been three hours, which is about my top for being gone. <laughs> and Ellie was at home and blah, blah, blah. So I did not get Subway, but when I got home, I thought, well, I'm going to try this on my Chromebook and see if I can get this code to work and do it right. So I went in. Well, the coupon had expired. And that's the reason why I couldn't use it. Now, the new code was for buy one, get one, 50% off. Well, I'm so cheap that I thought, hmm. I'll just wait because they have that buy one get one free all the time so I'm just gonna wait so yep I just made me something to eat here but I was gonna be a special treat and add some cookies and that um, pretzel footlong pretzel but what I found on the 
pretzel thing. The only choice is that you don't get cheese sauce, you get a honey mustard sauce. And I don't think I like honey mustard. I am not a mustard eater. So, which is weird. You would think that they would have more choices. But I like the nacho cheese <clears throat> on my pretzel sticks or pretzels. So that's that. I just, you know. So then, um, what else did I do? So then, um, of course, Ellie missed me so much and she was trying to be very, very affectionate and Oh, yeah, she needed her cuddles and all that. So I sat down on the couch with her. I um, ate my lunch dinner combo together. And, um, well, I had been over to see my son and next door and told him what the doctor said and blah, blah, blah. And... Then we got to talking about some other stuff, and so anyway, I had lunch probably around, I don't know, two-ish or so. I don't know what time it was, to tell you the truth. Um, so I did that, and then, but Ellie was just wanting to be right with me, so I said, okay, let's sit and watch some TV. So um, she cuddled up next to me, and we cuddled, and I did a little bit of knitting, and she was still wanting to cuddle more, so um, we laid down, and yeah, you know what happened next. Two hours later, <laughs> I'm waking up, and so, but I watched some more of uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. But I fell asleep, so I got to figure out where I'm at. And I also watched some Acorn TV stuff, the um, countryside travels things. And yeah, so I did that. And then got up and then I had some chores to do because I hadn't done anything. I hadn't done my dishes or anything. and But I was just super tired, but not sleepy tired. I don't know, you know, do you ever get like that? I just wanted to go read my book. So, because I'm at a really good part in the um, Outlander. And, uh, yeah, so Ellie and I crawled into bed, and I really read for quite a long time last night. And for you Outlander people that have already watched or read the books, I am at the part where um, they're at Jamie's aunt's house, and... She um, is making him the heir to her estate and all that stuff. And kind of um, tricked him into it. But anyway... They found a girl, and I'm going to assume it's like a slave person, but I'm not really for sure, um, that she was dying from having an abortion, and so that's where I'm at right now. And they have to find the person that did the abortion and hopefully she won't be hanged for for um, the death of the girl that had the abortion 
So anyway, that's where I'm at. That's kind of exciting because, you know, okay, what's going to happen next? I am thoroughly enjoying this book. So yeah, and I'm like on page, I don't know what page I'm on. I think I'm reaching 300 now <laughs> of the 1100. <laughs> so yeah, but now I want to read a little bit more because it is really interesting. And also, Claire saved, well, she didn't say she had a patient that died and I'm I am a little bit confused with that because he was going to die one way or the other and did she give him something to make him out of his pain and die sooner or I thought she did but uh, that one has a little tag on it let's see if I can get that off um, so yeah you can let me know on that I don't know if, if they'll actually say, because I thought she did. And then when she's having the conversation with Jamie, and he's explaining to her that people are a little leery of her because she was with him, or with the patient when he died, did she actually kill him? But then she acts like she didn't. So, I don't know, did I miss something? Or was it just implied that maybe she did? Okay, you can let me know on that part. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, before I forget, let me bring up this email that I got. What did I do with my, there it is. Hopefully this is still alive. It is. So, Julie sent me two emails. She ordered four canvases from Dreamer Designs. And she sent me the pictures of them. And I want to show this because... All right, this one that she ordered, look at those eyes. I saw this. This is a new release. And... I really like the eyes. It's not something that I would normally buy, which I didn't, but isn't that beautiful? Okay, now let me show you the other one she got, which I think is the one that I got. Okay, and then... She also got these two. I think I have that one. I think that is just beautiful. Look at that house and the mountains in the background. And oh my gosh, yes. I love that landscape. And then she got this one. Now, this isn't my style, but, but yeah, she got quite the variety. Look at that kitty. Do you see the kitty peeking over the book? Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Look at her eyes. Oh, my. Yeah. All kinds of stuff going on in that canvas. 
So, Julie, thank you so much for sending those to me. I appreciate it. So, let me see if I can... Okay. Yeah, send me more pictures. Now that I have that little tidbit um, that I get my my reader that I can um, show. That's going to be a lot better. <laughs> I'm getting a kick out of it. And Julie, I hope we can do those canvases together. The ones that we have there are alike. Yeah. And I think um, Diamonds by Tita has a couple of those. So yeah, maybe we can get some, some of us doing the same thing together. So that is exciting. Yeah, I want to do a dreamer. I'm so itching to do it. And V said in her uh, whip and chat that she's going to start one here pretty soon. She bought two. And I don't have either one of the ones that she purchased. So... I'm really looking forward to getting her um, take on the dreamers. I know um, Diamonds by Tita. She's doing. This is her second one, I think, that she's done by Dreamer, and she really likes them. But you know what? We all have our favorites, and um, all canvases, it seems like, no matter where you get them from, eh, some you like, some you don't. Some are better than others. I know I bought one from Dreamer, which you will see here. I've scheduled an unboxing for it. Um, it's one of their really old canvases. And it's, it's interesting when you see these older canvases, how much diamond painting has changed and gotten so much better over the years. Just amazing. And if any of you have been diamond painting for a long time, you know how much it's changed. It's changed a lot since I started in 2018. So. So, yeah, I'm. But anyway, this one that I but not everybody's going to like it and I understand that but you know what it doesn't matter because it's all about me and what I like and what I want to do <laughs> and what calls to me to do but you know um and you'll see it in my video why it was calling to me I love these, this um, tray. This is going to be my new favorite tray, I think. All right, how long have I been on here? Oh, my goodness gracious. Once again. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Okay, before I go, though, let's go see if... Um, oh, dear, what happened here?
Okay, I want to... Oh my goodness gracious, this is not going to let me... Okay, let's see if it'll let me... Yeah, it will. All right, let's go into Dreamer and see if they have anything new. They start giving teasers. Today's Wednesday. There should be some teasers somewhere. Maybe on Facebook. Um, let's take a gander. I know there's quite a few of you that are um, starting to look at the dreamers. And for some reason, I have slow internet today. is going on. All right, finally. All right, here we are. We made it. All right, new arrivals. Yeah, on Dreamer's um, webpage, that um, leopard with the blue eyes, it's on there. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I can hardly wait to see that completed. Well, you guys, I have got super, 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 super slow internet today. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? Well, I guess we won't be able to do that because I don't want to wait hours. Um, I don't even want to wait a minute. So... I'm going to let you go. Thanks for stopping by and make sure if you like this video and you didn't get bored, um, press that like button. And if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a friend. So um, yeah, hit the subscribe button. And if um, you want to see future videos that I do, hit the notification bell and that will pop up for you. And I think that's it. Oh, you know what? Here it goes. The, oh, the new arrival is the last day of school. Um, that one. And that doesn't really interest me right now. So I won't be doing, I won't be getting that one. So, okay. Thanks for stopping by. And I will chat with you later.